getting two pizzas and putting the same ingredients on both of them. I, I always feel a little stressed out on ordering pizza. The guy's staring at me. So what do you want? And he's like, <laughs> get your head out of your ass and order a fucking pizza. You're right. God, people are so polite here. No, honestly, I just, I didn't really care what the topics was as long as it had Wisconsin or uh, Parmesan cheese. Man. And I, I, I was like, eh, I can, I can eat mushrooms. Just. Because I didn't want like chicken or something and then it's going to be like greasy pepperoni or something. You should have just gone for cheese, just cheese. Yeah. What about that three cheese pizza that you got before? No, it's just more, cost more money. I thought you could still get that on the five ninety nine. Uh, no, I mean. Remember the cheesy bread pizza that you made? Yeah, that was just Wisconsin cheese and regular cheese and no sauce. Why was that so good? I don't know. This time I, I I was just trying to test out the Parmesan cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese sauce, and Alfredo. One is Alfredo sauce and one's Parmesan uh, sauce. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what I, I want to taste it. I want to taste the difference of it. Okay, fair enough. It was for scientific purposes. Yeah. <laughs> And they both taste pretty good. I don't know which one tastes better. But like, Alf- <laughs> what? Alfredo, uh, Alfredo sauce doesn't taste like Alfredo sauce. It tastes <laughs> different. <laughs> I tasted this guy Alfredo one time. I don't oh, taste- like him. I know a guy named Alfredo. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I've ordered so many pizza. So much pizza in my day. <laughs> I was okay with just regular stuff. God damn. Why are ice cream sandwiches so good? Right. That's your third one. You, I only had three. That's my three. second. <laughs> what? That's my second. Is this second? Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't be counting ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I was going to say, I've had... Two or three since I got here. I'm a fucking grown ass man. I'll, <laughs> eat, I'll eat fucking ten ice cream sandwiches if I want to eat ten ice cream Probably sandwiches. Probably would. Right? I'll fucking vomit all over this place. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. And then they're they're the French vanilla too. Yeah, I noticed that they're a little yellow. They're fucking delicious. Yeah, it's rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like them. They're great. I don't know, should we have like 40 mozzarella sticks? No. <laughs> Can't believe you brought two pizzas of the exact same type. Uh, they don't really have good toppings. Have you seen the TV show uh, Parasite? It's an anime. Where the guy's, I've heard about it. The guy's arm becomes like a possessed demon thing or something like that. I've recently heard about it, actually. Why is it good? It is good. It's worth watching. Um, it's not great, but it's definitely worth watching. What about Co- Code Chaos? Have you seen that? Code Chaos? Gas? Gas? Gas Code? No. Um, I think the story there is like this young kid develops the ability to make to make people do one thing. Like every single person in the world, he... I think he has to be, like, talking to them, or he has to see them, or something like that. There's some stipulation there, but he can tell you to do one thing and one thing only. So he could be like, kill yourself, and you just kill yourself. Okay. But if he was like, go over there, and then you go over there, and then you're like, go over there, and then he'd be like, fuck you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. He, I can, only, he can only do it once? Yeah, I think so. I've, I've per always, human? I've only seen a couple episodes. So maybe that changes. But that's a show that I keep meaning to finish because everyone says it's amazing. Okay. Yeah, there's tons of uh, animes on Netflix. Yeah, fuck Roku. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who their competitor is, but I should contact them. <laughs> do you have, yeah, do you have like a Netflix only from Roku? Yeah. Wait, I have Netflix on my computer. That's real Netflix. Is that the same uh, service? Same account? Yeah. 
There's just no. There's just nothing on the okay, one through the TV. That's weird. Through the Roku. Fuck Roku. That is weird. <sighs> Anime's good. Anime is good. We just saw a horrible movie yesterday. Which one? Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh fuck! That movie was bad. <laughs> it's so oh bad. Oh my god! It's unwatchable. It DC. They... What are you doing, DC? I, I don't understand why they can't make a good movie. It was so bad. I'm not going to say that all the Marvel movies are great. Each scene was like an introduction of the characters. Each was like, scene was like torture. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm uh, Harley Quinn. I do this, this, and this. It's the, it's the dumbest fucking present. None of them are superheroes except the fire guy. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but shooting the gun is not a fucking superpower. I don't care how accurate you are. Better than uh, Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Hawkeye is better than Deadshot. They're the or, same character. Or, or Deadeye or whatever. But they never have the Hawkeye character take himself seriously. Yeah. And that's really important if you're going to have such a ridiculous That character. you suck so bad it's in your characteristic. <laughs> Written into your characteristic. In uh, in the movie uh, Age of Ultron, Hawkeye jokes about how ridiculous it is that he's shooting arrows. That he jokes about it during a battle scene, which is pretty irresponsible. <laughs> hmm. You're fighting the killer robots, but you have time to stop and joke around. Okay, Hawkeye. Okay, I see how it is. Let the Hulk do all the work. Is there going to be any cool... Like, who made X-Men? X-Men was Marvel? No, X-Men is Fox. Fox owns X-Men. That's why there's no X-Men in uh, Infinity Wars. They're supposed to be in Infinity Wars. Oh. Yeah, right? Bullshit. Fuck you, Hawk. I say uh, that. Fuck you, uh, Fox. I was going to say, fuck you, Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my Hawkeye. But Fox does not play ball. Yeah. If Fox would just cooperate we would have even more badass movies but then you'd have like 20 fucking X-Men who are supposed to be in the movie too Hmm. it's just not enough screen time for everybody but like we were saying when we were watching it the other night I would have no problem with Infinity Wars being like a 5 hour movie no I don't disagree that that's actually a good marketing idea of having 3 hours of the movie and then 2 hours extra Mm -hmm. on the DVD Mm-hmm. And, like upsell the DVD mm-hmm. by like more than a ticket would cost or something it's a great idea but I just think it's a it's just it's either or it's equally as just uh, if not the same as having a shorter movie um, than a longer movie because then it would be less work yeah, but... less people to pay off they're attempting to tell such an incredibly complex story with so many characters in such a short time. Well, they're going to have a second one. Yeah, that's true. Um, they always have flashbacks and stuff like that. It still feels rushed, though. Um, so, like... I also heard something. Hmm. And, it, you know, it makes sense. It's practical. It's the real world that we live in. But it's unfortunate. What I heard was that a lot of the actors, their contracts run out after this next Infinity War, so after the second one. Okay, so it might and, change? Well, at the very least, the, the actors that play them will change. That would suck. That would suck dick. <laughs> We've been watching Superman, and, or not Superman, fucking Iron Man be uh, Robert Downey Jr. for like over a decade now. Yeah, if it changes, it's going to be stupid. Yeah. Who is someone else who's just going to play Iron Man now? No, I don't think so. Yeah. What about Thor? What about the Hulk? This is definitely the best Hulk this has ever been. Are you going to recast the Hulk? Get the fuck out of here. Well, you watch Doctor Who. How do you feel about that? Oh, that, that, that actually We're, has a storyline. Exactly. Though. The recasting is part of the storyline, which is, it makes it acceptable. But I have to say, though, some of the Doctor Whos, I don't like the, the actor, so I don't watch that whole season. <laughs> like, the... I don't, I don't know any of the Doctor Who actors' names. Shit. Um, Doctor Strange is one of them, right? Doctor Strange. 
Benedict Cumberbatch? No, he was never one of the Doctor Who's. Really? He should be. Yeah, he probably should be, yeah. <laughs> but I, I agree with that. He's great in Sherlock. He's he's officially the, oh, yeah, the he is the Sherlock Holmes. I liked Robert Downey Jr. as the Sherlock though. I didn't mind him as Sherlock, but I think Benedict Cumberbatch does a better job. Which uh, Sherlock is uh, Benedict uh, in? He's in the most recent one. In I the believe. shows, I think. Yeah, the TV show. Yeah, I don't. I didn't watch the shows. It's good. You should watch it. High profile celebrity. Playing one of my favorite characters, yeah. And then that guy who played Bilbo Baggins is, uh, is, is, his partner. Really? Yep. Isn't his partner his brother? No, he's a doctor that he met. His friends. It's his, his friend, the good doctor. Um. Yeah, then. I can't remember his name. Uh, Watson. Watson. Yeah. I thought, uh. In one of the movies with Robert Downey Jr., I thought he called him his brother, and then it was, like, literally him calling him, like, oh, yeah, you are my brother or something. Not as, a, like, a metaphor. Yeah, it's probably just figurative. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Does that teddy bear have uh, cameras? <laughs> Definitely has cameras in it. Who put... Okay, crazy shit like that. Like, um... Putting leashes on your kid. Shit, that teddy bear probably does have a camera in it. I should check. <laughs> Punch it violently. You know anything you gonna squeeze his head. You're literally checking it? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pokes it. It's like a giant VHS camera inside of it. How do you feel about that? What if you were one of those kids where you had to have a leash? I did. Really? I think my mom had a leash on me when I was a little kid. Yeah, she's got three kids. My dad's always at work. So, yeah, I think when I was a really little kid. It works. I know, it works. When I was, when I was a really little kid, I think. Uh, but it wasn't every day. Like, it wasn't common. It was like if we went to Disney World or something like that. She can't have me running off. To get murder raped. <laughs> hey, I would do the same thing, man. You got a gaggle of kids, you bring them to Disneyland, fucking tie them to something. Yeah. At the very least, tie them to a big rock so they can't run very fast. Were you, like, <laughs> disobedient? No. I was just wild. I would just run away. Well, I mean, shit, I got lost in Six Flags four times when I was a kid. <laughs> I would never get lost. I would always know where I was. I would just wander off. Like I never felt like the I never felt like I needed to stay with my family. I would just walk away. Yeah. And then they would find me like two hours later, like, We've been looking for you. I was like, I wasn't looking for you. <laughs> like I know where I am. I didn't I didn't think I was lost, but apparently I am. Shit. Sure. Yeah, I would wander off too. They would just be so damn slow. Yeah, man. Or they're just doing shit that I'm not interested in. Yeah. It's like, God damn it! I'm seven years old. I got places to be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go already. Hmm. Do you remember the first roller coaster you went on? Uh, the mind eraser. Mind eraser? Yeah. Damn. Did your mind get erased? <laughs> no. I was the first time I went. I wasn't allowed, so I had to watch my brother and my dad get on it. That was his first time. Yeah. And then the next uh, couple of years passed. I got slightly taller. <laughs> it was more. It was more of an age restriction, but then we, uh, then I was allowed to get on that, and it just hurt my neck. <laughs> Imagine it's called the mind eraser. It was just like shake and going weird fucking angles and shit. Yeah, it was pretty intense, but Man. it wasn't even that intense. It was just hurt. <laughs> that, that sounds like a bad experience. <laughs> Just pain. That's where I, I actually didn't like roller coasters after that. And then I went back again. My brother was like, all right. He practically forced me to uh, go back to uh, amusement park. Mm, that's good. And we went to, um, I didn't even want to go, but he forced me. That's good. He should. Yeah, we went to, um, uh, he, he purposely was like, okay, we're doing the mining racer first. Then we're doing this wood one. And then we're going on... This one, this one, that one, and then the Hulk. 
The Hulk was a really good one. And we ended up doing all the the whole amusement park. We did Hulk like 64 times because there was no line. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we just would, would run back and yeah, forth. Yeah, do it again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. I love that. We did uh, Superman three times, which was pr- is probably the best roller coaster I've ever been on. But yeah. we would have done more, but then there would there was a line accumulating. Where was this? Hershey? I think it's Six Flags where Hulk is. Which Six Flags? Um, I think there's two Six Flags that are closest to us. One's like 30 minutes and then the other one's like three or six hours. Well, there's uh, Six Flags Great Adventure is the only one I know in New Jersey. Okay. There's a close... There's a you close didn't one. come with us last time we went, right? I don't think so. Maybe we should have gone this summer. Uh-huh. Take a day trip up to Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. Leave it leave it like four AM so we can get there at seven when right, right when it opens. Seven or eight whenever it opens. Super busy. Oh, I can't Yeah, it's a it's a long day, man. They, you, the, I don't know when the park actually opens, but you get there right when it opens. You have to get a fast pass. Yeah. And you just go bananas. They have a fast pass? Well we didn't get it last time because we figured we would get there before anyone else. And but we only had like thirty minutes of open time before the before the park was packed. Oh wow! Like for the first thirty minutes, we went on a bunch of rides, and then we spent the rest of the day waiting in line to go on like two rides. That sucks. And that day, I went on Kindaka for the first time because when I left New Jersey, when I moved down to New Jersey, they had just built Kindaka, the biggest roller coaster in the world. Really? Mm-hmm. It's four hundred and eighty something feet straight up, then four hundred eighty feet straight back down. And it launches you out. You launches you. You go like eighty miles an hour or something like that. How was that? So fucking amazing! <laughs> My God, Superman's like that. As it goes, and then loops and it comes in <laughs> and goes. <laughs> Dude, the acceleration is so aggressive. They actually tell you that you should keep your head back so you don't get fucking whiplash. Yeah, but then we, they aren't Alex, joking about that. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say it was like three hour wait. Alex and I waited in line for like three hours, and then when we there was. So we kept thinking, oh man, we gotta sit in the front, we gotta sit in the front, we're gonna wait so long anyway, it makes sense to wait a little longer to sit in the front. Yeah. The, the front line, line, didn't start until you got right to the cars. So like, the, the extra... Like the outside of like, the music park? No, no, like, when, no, I mean the cars, the... Of the... The, the carts. Roller coaster cars. Yeah, cars, carts. Yeah. So it was, I'm not joking, it was like a, literally an extra minute in line to sit in the front seat as opposed to anywhere else in the car. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a joke. And I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, the acceleration is so absurd. It actually like pulls your cheeks back. Like you're like gripping the handle the handles on either side of you. Yeah. But I swear if you picked your hands up, they would go flying back. Like you couldn't keep them forward. Wow. The acceleration was unbelievable. Like nothing I've ever felt before. Hmm. Have you tried one of those tower ones where you go, it lifts you up and then drops you? Yeah, I hate those bullshits. They just make me want to puke. <laughs> There's nothing fun about that. <laughs> I actually enjoyed those. There's nothing fun about that. I guess it was, it was probably just my brother forcing me to do that. And well, I used to be terrified of roller coasters. And the first time I went on one, I was on a field trip with, with my school, my middle school. And uh, I guess we went to, I think we might have gone to Great Adventure, actually. Hmm. But... Uh, I didn't go on any rides. Mm-hmm. I walked around with the school trip all day while all my friends went on rides. And uh, at the very end of the day, it was a Batman and Robin ride where it's like two roller coasters next to each other, like yeah. you know, doing shit. My friends had gone on that like 10 times already today. And I hadn't gone on a single roller coaster. I didn't like that one. And I had never been on any roller coasters in my life at that point. I was terrified of them. And right before we left the park, I built up the confidence to go on it. I had been watching them go on roller coasters all day. It looked so much fun. looked like so much fun. Yeah. And that last, like, chance we had, I took. And I went on the roller coaster and it was fucking awesome. And now I love roller coasters. Huh. I don't remember Robin being a, like, exciting one. It wasn't. I was just terrified and I was really young. Yeah. Or not exciting, but it wasn't, like, a violent... No, it wasn't crazy. Yeah. You know, I think it was like you shoot out, it was you like, like this. do a flip, and then like you go up, and then you go back and do it backwards. Yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah, man. Oh, I fucking love roller coasters. Winning for your package? Yeah, I wonder if some fucking soggy Amazon driver is gonna show up. Yeah. With like tree branches sticking out the side of his truck. <laughs> <laughs> I got here. I nearly died on the way. Did you see that storm? <laughs> yeah. It's only 15 minutes, but this is crazy, man. I'll be like, it took you long enough. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, at least you went to Six Flags as a kid. Oh, yeah, we went a lot. I mean, it's right, we were in New Jersey, it was right there. Yeah. It was like, I don't know, two hours away from us, maybe less. Yeah, we have we have one too. Ha! <laughs> Wait, like Hershey? What do you have here? Uh, yeah, Hershey's the closest. Hershey's, Hershey's not bad, but it's, it's, there's no, no impressive roller coasters. Well, then again, I did go on a couple good roller coasters. That's not true. There are a couple good ones at Hershey. We don't have the best Six Flags, but we have a decent... We have a normal Six Flags. (laughs) (laughs) I think uh, Universal Studios is my favorite, though. I only went there once when I was really young, so I barely remember it. The shows. The only thing I remember is I went to a 3D Terminator show. Mm -hmm. And this was when I was a little kid. So this is like, I don't know, almost 20 years ago. And that was still the best 3D I've ever seen in my life. Highest quality 3D I've ever seen. Where like, objects are like coming out and like practically going past your head. I think I've been to that one in like the... Terminator, right? Yeah. And, like, the liquid metal guy, like, tries to stab out at you. Yeah. Yeah. And you can feel the heat of him melting and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they have, they have hot things there, right? Yeah. <sighs> My dick of a dad took me to Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> <laughs> or I think it was just Alien. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Aliens. Oh, yeah? And it was terrifying. <laughs> I bet. I was so terrified, I didn't, I wasn't scared anymore. I was like, okay, I guess I'm dying today. <laughs> You're like dead already. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh. Just accepted death. Yeah, I think my family fucked me up too because they let me watch, um, uh, Jason. No, no, not Jason. Michael Myers. You know those movies? Uh, Friday the 13th. Mm-hmm. They let me watch those when I was really, really, really young. And those fucked me up. Yeah, my brother and neighbor watched uh, Kids of the Corn. Never seen it. It's terrifying. That was terrifying. I don't understand the appeal for scary movies. Why do you want to be scared? Right? Why do you uh, want to see shit die? There are and... plenty of scary places in real life that you can go to and you can actually be scared. Why do you want to simulate fear? Right? What does that do for you? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe those people are just bored. Jump scares and shit. Oh, jump scares? I can't imagine that being a thing, but it is. It is? People actually want to be jump scared? Yeah. Are you, at that point, not scared of the jump scares? Because you want to watch it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to feel something. Right? <laughs> I'm dead inside. Or just take somebody that hates... They they pur- purposely take somebody that's uh, that hates scary movies and they just watch the other person get scared shitless. Well, I thought that that would be a good idea for content creation. Because <laughs> I know uh, I, I get really scared with scary games, especially. Yeah. And uh, I have a Canadian friend who doesn't get scared at all. I've seen him play scary video games and he just literally no reaction. Like he's dead inside. <laughs> 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 and so I thought it would be funny if he plays if if we he plays scary video games and I'm sitting next to him and we record our reactions. How'd that go? It went badly because we had no equipment. Uh-huh. But I think if it was done at a high quality it would be entertaining. Yeah. That's a good idea. How scary would you say Doom? 2016 is not at all no at all. no fear no horror more adrenaline junkie-ish exactly it's a pure 
no bullshit first person shooter. That's cool. Have you even played the old one though? The I tried to play Doom Three. It was too scary. Yeah, Doom Three. It was. It was really trying to be a, a horror game, which is not what I was looking for. I tried playing the old old Doom, like uh-huh. you know, like the fucking two D one. It's just sprites, but <clears throat> couldn't do it. It's just too old. It looks like shit. Yeah. Can't give me a fucking brain aneurysm staring at that. It is pretty old. Wonder if they have a remastered. Remastered to what? Remastered to three pixels instead of two pixels. <laughs> wow. Better graphics, at least. Well, it would just be a new game. If, if I mean, how can you improve graphics that are that old without just making the complete the whole game over again? Did they do that with freaking uh, Oblivion and Skyrim though? Well, those graphics were already super high quality, so. Yeah, you can go in there and kind of touch them up and make them better. I don't know how much better you can make Doom. Uh, Like, I don't know if there's that much wiggle room there. Hmm. Fair enough. They'll probably remodel, have to remodel the whole thing. Oh, telephone. Seven days. <laughs> I missed it. You missed the phone call? Mm-hmm. I was kind of scared of phone. Fuck it. So today's a no pants day. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't put on pants yet today, I'm not good. Okay. It was a uh, National Lazy Day, I think, last Monday. Yeah, well, I was, I just I procrastinated, okay, and now I'm celebrating today. He lives that religiously. <laughs> <laughs> what other holidays? Are there? There's some crazy holidays. Probably not official, but. At what point does 4:20 become an official holiday? 4:20 become an official holiday. At what point know. do we acknowledge that we're living in the most fucking ridiculous? time ever. Donald Trump is the president. Weed is becoming legal. In our lifetime, 420 could be as legitimate a holiday as anything else. Like, oh, tomorrow's 420. You get the day off of work. Oh, yay. Sounds great. What if every year just becomes better? <laughs> what do you mean better? <laughs> by what By what metric? Like, each generation wants to better themselves. Each generation wants to... Has the same morals and values. And they, sooner or later, like, get jobs to... Um, to accompany those morals and, like... Like, the Wooten kids... They have, a. They go for, like, ROTC or, like... Polit- uh, politics. Ah, what the fuck are you talking about? Just like, uh, wouldn't w- w- would you agree that each year the living standard increases? Definitely, it does. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Oh well, yeah. Well, that's just because of technology. It's nothing to do with people <laughs> making advances. Oh yeah, of course. That's what I mean. People create technology. And technology. Yeah. But I don't think people are necessarily becoming smarter. I think we just have more context. I think that's the only difference between like me now and me if I grew up a thousand years ago. Today, I have so much context. I have so much information given to me or that I've found. So, mm-hmm. you know, I haven't made any breakthroughs. Mm-hmm. We're not fucking scientists. Like, we genuinely don't contribute anything. <laughs> I mean... Most people contribute on a very small scale. Like, delivering pizzas is, is contributing. Yeah. But it's contributing on such a scale that no one will remember your name because you're not meaningful enough. Well, the only... But then that scales up to people who are making serious contributions that people still don't know their name because, you know, for whatever reason. Hmm. Nah, I mean... No, I blanked out. <laughs> At the end, I was like, what? What is he talking about? I, I know this is really important, but I have this block 
this uh, charging block that I'm playing it's with. It's distracting you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, bro. <laughs> it's so nice outside now. We yeah. Go, we should go for a drive. Where would you go? I don't know, but... Because I made bacon earlier, and I want to make a turkey bacon sandwich. So we should go to Safeway. You want to go to Safeway? Yeah. Well, we can, we can cut this podcast short. Cut it short? Well, 30 minutes is good enough. Yeah, we... Our podcasts are around the same time. <laughs> Keep it organic, man. Keep it simple. Man, it's fucking blue sky now. Looks great out there. No, I'm just genuinely actually happy about that. Yeah, 30 minutes is a long time. Yeah, I agree. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or don't. You know, it's all up to you. Do whatever you like. Uh, if you enjoyed the podcast, please listen to another one. Thank you for giving us your time. That's what is most meaningful. Yeah. I've been Brian. He is Brian. <laughs> I've been Brian. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's Armand. <laughs> I'm Armand. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care.